You know what guys, let's have an updo for this video because you guys don't actually see my hair up very often. An updo it is. Hello there guys, so for today's video I decided to finally film one of my most requested videos and that is a makeup collection. My makeup collection is stored right over here. That's a weird way of pointing but it's right over on this one over here. So I do use the very common Alex draw set. I know it's a bit boring now. To be honest with you, I'm quite bored of it now. But honestly, it just stores makeup so well. So um, I purchased those almost two years ago. And yeah, I kind of have accumulated makeup for about two years. And to be honest with you, yeah, it has kind of grown a lot in two years. But I can't help that. I mean, it's still a lot smaller than a lot of people's. So don't judge my collection, please. I'm sure you won't. It is it's still quite big for someone who's only been liking and doing makeup on her face for about two years. Before I get on to it, I just wanted to show you the compartments I sort of use. I mainly use the Ferrero Rocher boxes and I also like to use the lid and I will show you what I mean. If I can get it out guys, this is not good. I should have pre pre-planned this. Oh my god. So I like to use the Ferrero Rocher kind of lids to hold my makeup kind of like this. You'll see what I mean because I don't explain it too much in the video so I just thought I would mention it in the beginning but that's how I like to do it. These are for example all my kind of MAC lipsticks that I put and I just kind of put them face like that so I can see the names and I can just pick out whichever one I want. So yeah while we're on the topic of MAC if you would like to see a swatch video of all of these lipsticks and my MAC collection or any sort of in-depth videos on anything I have let me know in the comments below and give this video a like just so I know that you want to see more videos to do with makeup. I won't be swatching my lipsticks in this video but I will be showing you um, close-ups of the products itself but just not sort of swatches of every single thing because that video would be like long because I just talk too much so yeah but if you do want to see a swatch of all my lip MAC lipsticks then let me know and give this video a like so I will so I can do that for you very soon and then finally I use stuff like this this um, had mini uh, Nutellas in it. I think they were really cute little mini Nutellas which was from another country but I just thought this was so useful that I kept it and it does fit perfectly in my Alex drawer so I only have two of these I believe and I just kept the two because they are so useful so I use one in my lip drawer and one in my eye drawer and that is pretty much it but if you can find anything like this I know that in the UK to be honest with you you can't find um much like it because I have looked like things that are quite clear I know in America you can find so many things like this but in my personal opinion I haven't found anything like this in the UK so they are quite hard to find clear sort of compartments to just add into my Alex draw set but that's why I ended up using a lot of like Ferrero for, 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 I can't say that I can't say it for some reason so that is why I use a lot of Ferrero Rocher boxes and <laughs> um, because I just think it looks quite good so yeah without further ado and any more talking, I will be getting into the video. Yeah, that's, let's just get in, guys. Let's just get into the video, man. Come on, go. <laughs> So guys, I first of all apologise about the gloomy weather, but that is the UK for you, so I can't kind of help that. My makeup goes in this one over here, and then I put jewellery over there. Now on top of my makeup area, I've got a couple of bits and bobs, which I'm actually going to zoom in for you. So this right here is everything I keep on top of my makeup kind of vanity area. For this clip I'm not going to go in depth into this kind of area because I don't really like it enough to go in depth into it. So over here I have some perfumes. Then I have a poster on the wall of my baby Justin. I love him and I will one day marry him obviously. And then I have a few boxes over here. I've got um, a numerous different things inside the boxes. In the bottom box over there it says make your life your masterpiece and I really love that box. I bought that from Home Sense and inside that I have basically kept a bunch of extras which I'm going to show you so you kind of understand. On top is a candle and in the other box I keep my brushes. Then sort of moving along here I have a basket in the back and that basket contains some hairspray, it contains some nail polish remover, it contains um, a hair removal cream, uh, just a, an array of different things which then in this sort of white compartment which moves, it actually spins around, I keep my dirty brushes in there and also I've 
got some scissors, a random ruler and a pen because I tend to reach for those items quite a lot and I don't always like to keep them in my pencil case because then I have to kind of basically search for it so I like to just keep it in there. Next to it around on this sort of stand thing that I have it was actually for a, a music player, music player? What's it called? It was called, it was for like a stereo and I used to put it on top of there but I got rid of that so I just left the sort of stand. I have kept some perfumes and all those perfumes apart from one which is a Britney Spears one which was my mum's are all Justin's perfumes which obviously I love him so I buy anything to do with him. Behind over there I've actually got one of my favourite things. I love this. That is my earring holder. Now for this I actually hold, I use it to hold all of my earrings so far. Then going on to this sort of area right over here I've got a little jar that holds my cotton buds. My grandmother got me this. I believe it was from Turkey and I just adore it. I think it's a really cute piece to have in your room and it is so useful which is why I like keeping it just out because obviously cotton buds are something that you use all the time regardless of whether it's for makeup and fixing up your makeup or you know the normal reason why you should have them and that is for cleaning your ears so I always keep them there and next to it I have a candle I actually made this candle over here maybe seven or eight years ago but I've just kept it with me moving along a little bit more here I have my brush which is a dirty brush but I've kept it there because it's dirty and then a sponge over there well a small sponge for my under eyes and then a sort of a complexion sponge from Real Techniques. Before I I cut to the next clip I just wanted to show you that I have a mirror at the top which my friend got me and then I have my iPod Nano and this little jar which holds random things. This whole area guys is honestly just kind of put the way it has been because I don't know what else to do with it but for the moment this is just how I've kept it. I think at least this way I like the fact that it looks like a vanity area I don't know why I like certain areas of mine to look the way it's supposed to. This whole section as I mentioned before these two Alex 9 draw sets is either my jewellery, my makeup or my hair stuff. So now, without further ado, I'm going to actually get into my explanations of my drawers. So I hope you enjoy guys. So guys, this one right here is my first drawer full of makeup. And um, I'd just like to point out that I mainly have four drawers that are full of makeup in this whole Alex 9 drawer set. So that is this one, it is the third one down, the fourth one and then the fifth one. So I'm only going to be showing you four drawers of mine. But yeah, this is my first drawer. Here are all my foundations. So far I've kept all my foundations in this little blue box and I don't know where I got this from but boxes like this are so useful to me. So I've just kept it in here. Then these two are the Ferrero Rocher boxes as I mentioned right in the beginning. I use these throughout my whole makeup collection so you will continuously see these and then the lids which is like right here you can see it. And so what I've got here is all my kind of main face bases because I see you know the foundation and concealer and all of that as a base and on top goes your eye makeup and your lipstick and all of those kind of bits and bobs. So here I have my foundations, I have an array of different foundations, I have the Bourjois Healthy Mix which I adore, I have the Maybelline Fit Me, Revlon Photo Ready, Gar all time favourite Garnier BB Cream which I use for so long and have to keep on buying. I have the Body Shop All-in-One BB Cream as well, which I don't actually like for some reason, so I don't recommend that one. Then I have the number seven one, which this was the first one I bought. You know when they like match your skin? This is the first thing that I got, but I don't use it really. It's not really the right skin tone. Finally, a MAC one, which is so not my colour. MAC got it completely wrong. They also got my concealer wrong. I know that my hands will look slightly darker now, but trust me, my face is not that dark at all. So that was completely, completely wrong, so I don't use it. And um, yeah, so that's basically everything. I've got some paracetamol because I needed it when I was ill. But yeah, that's basically all that I've kept in this sort of compartment. So, it, so in here I have some foundations. This is just an ointment type of thing, which I've kept in here. I have my MAC, which is, like I said, completely wrong. Then I have my Maybelline Fit Me, and I have purchased so many of these. This is probably like my ninth or tenth one and my collection. I don't actually change my concealers up that much but I think I definitely should because you know it's nice to try different ones out. Now going on to this section I have a bronzer from Makeover Essentials, some random brand that came and I just bought it so I don't really, I've never used it in my life, I think that it might be too shiny. And then another Maybelline Fit Me 
because I just love them so much. I've got some kind of a primer in here which my friend Dev gave me so that I could just try it out because she just owned the whole thing and I thought I'd rather try it out before buying it. Finally, a Kiko Skin Tone Primer. Then moving on to this section, kind of over here. Underneath this place, I have a, another makeover essentials that sort of random thing that I've had before to be honest with you I don't use that either I don't really use this makeover essentials brand you know when you first get into makeup and you kind of buy random things because you don't know that was me so here I have two of the lids I have a eyelash curl over here and then I have two USBs because USBs are my life because I need them so much I keep all of my memory sticks and SD cards, I try to keep them all in one place because they're so important. If they go missing, I'm basically going to be doomed. So I like to keep them just all in one place, basically. And then moving on to here, I've got a sharpener. And I've got this little thing, which I just think is adorable. And it just holds my... Mm, I was going to say Q-tips because I watch so many American YouTubers. But um, it holds my cotton buds. And then finally, I have some tweezers over there. Now, back going on to this side, I have my simple replenishing moisturizer which I just kind of slot in over there and I actually did used to use this for my face but I don't think it does enough for my face so I use the one over here which is my Pons. Now going into this area I keep my Pons face cream moisturizer in here this is my all-time favorite moisturizer so far you know, I haven't really tried out anything else apart from the simple one, which I don't really like. I like thick moisturisers, and I think it works the best with, on my face and with my makeup. Then here I have this little sort of candle um, glass candle glass. I have this sort of little jar where there was and um, there was a candle inside it, so I just kind of threw it out after it was all burnt. And here I've kept some sponges. I use this to actually set my under eye makeup a lot of the times so um, they're just so useful I do need to top that up then in the back over here I have a few more sort of boxes I have three Ferrero Rocher boxes at the back you can see one two and three at the back if I take this out so here I literally have only two powders I have my Rimmel Match Perfection powder this one is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. This is like the only two I have. Personally, I'm one of those people that I don't know why I feel like my makeup looks good when it's slightly shiny for some reason. So I don't use powder, but recently I've done it on my under my eyes just because um, I've just noticed that it's been creasing up too much or because I wear glasses more and it goes off my glasses. So it's just a lot easier. So over here, I just have the scent. I have sort of like travel size face scrub. I adore this face scrub. It's actually one of my all time favorites and so I just have two of them in there and then I have a clear brow gel which I don't know why that's in there but I've just left it there then back there I have random packs of brown sugar I know that's weird and then a hand sanitizer which I never use the only person that uses a hand sanitizer is my friend Essin so guys that's actually everything in my first sort of drawer so for this I have And I will go more in depth in this, I'm just going to give you an overview. I've got a little kind of uh, compartment over here which holds my mascara, some eyeliner, some random bits and bobs, some random bits and bobs, and then um, some of my eyeshadows, the rest of my eyeshadows over here. Now, going in closer, I have some LA Pro, I'm going to start off in this section and then go into the, onto this section, but here I have some LA Colours and this is, these were all basically a pound from Westfield so here I have some LA Colours, I have a brown type one with pink and white, I have another one which is all sort of focused on black and um, grey tones, this one's focused on some pink shades and this one is blue and purple and white but the thing is that they kind of clash like you can see that the white is in this one and in that one so in a way that's sort of good but sort of not. So over here I've got three shades these three which I really love these are pupa I have a gold shadow which is gorgeous I have a bluey shadow which is also gorgeous and then like a purpley one I bought these in Rome I believe it's made in Italy so if you go there I recommend them to you then over here I have two bourgeois palettes I have a purple based one and then I have a smoky sort of green based one moving on to here I have two MAC eyeshadows over here 
I have two Maybelline Nice Studio shadows. I really like to use really like to use the lighter one for the inner corner, and then the darker one for the outer sort of V. I really like that. I think that it looks so good. And then I have three Maybelline color tattoos. I have a pink, a blue, and a bronze. Then over here, I have my one Sephora eyeshadow, which I really love. I was obsessed with this eyeshadow when I first got it. I have this baked eyeshadow, which was like a pound from somewhere. It's not very good. I don't recommend it. Then I have two of the Revlon once and kind of take it off like that and then put it back on which is quite cool and then here I have two body shop ones which I've used this shimmery one so far the shimmery green and it is quite nice so I got shimmery green and a purple and then lastly I have this NYC which my friend Dev gave me for Christmas and that is a dupe for I think bark or something in naked basics palette and then at the back I have these two sort of body shop cream eye color things that which my friend Dave gave me I think it's like a base I didn't know what it was when I first got it so next moving on to this sort of compartment here I have a bunch of different things I have some mascara you can see I have some eyeliner I have some mini sort of um, mascaras again I have this sort of pencil liner I have a primer from Lorac Pro which I haven't really used yet I have my MUA eyeliner um, just a range of different things I've got an eyebrow pencil here which I don't use for my eyebrows I use for my eyes in the sense of in the crease to create like a cut crease or something and that is pretty much this section now this uh, um, is basically what I use to remove my eye makeup so I've just kept it in this drawer for now this will def this drawer will definitely change a lot for now just kept this in here because I like the look of it in there because it's all together and then over here which you can't really see over here I've got um, the collection dazzle me glitter powder which is silver I've got the barrel yeah, fine glitter dust in 22 I think it's like a shimmery blacky gold color and I used this last year I think for a vampire look I've got my black track eyeliner my favorite eyeliner by Mac um, gel liner should I say and then I've got this golden glitter dust again from Barry M and then another gel liner from Maybelline which has dried out so I need to purchase a new one and then finally these are all my palettes which I will show you close-ups of so first of all here I have my naked basics which I obviously adore which is useful if you want to create a simple look so I do like that my friend Essen bought me that this one um, is my natural eyes Too Faced palette I got this as a gift from Canada um, from my cousin when she came over here I've got a Sephora palette which oh my goodness me I know the, the light is like shining onto it but it's a gorgeous palette and it was only like ten dollars so um, it was definitely worth the price and then here I have a sleek palette which is the naturals one and I just adore this my, my most used shade is probably the brown as you will see because it's pretty much gone then I have a MUA palette the sleek and MUA palettes were two of the first ever palettes I purchased in my makeup collection and they have gone very far they're very good next I have the nude dude palette it's gorgeous and my friend Essen bought me that as a birthday present this year for my 18th and it is a gorgeous gorgeous palette oh my gosh I recommend it to you all next I have the Urban Decay Naked 2 if I'll just show you it which is also really gorgeous and then my favorite one which is the Laura Pro so far the colors are absolutely amazing I recommend this palette to you all because honestly the colors are probably one of the one of my favorite colors in the world it's just all the colors are just so versatile and I like that about palettes sometimes so you don't have to buy so many and then finally I have my Chanel one which Chanel one just has a few gorgeous um, sort of colors I purchased obviously there's there's a different quads for you to choose from but this is a quad and I got sort of like that plummy purple a shimmery sort of I don't know what color to call that it's a mixture like of like cream and white and brown and then like a pinky tone and a white sort of tone so yeah that is pretty much my whole eye drawer this will be expanding very 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 soon I already know it will be <laughs> so this is all my lip products that I have and it is the fourth drawer down on my Alex drawer set so what I'm going to do yet again is I will show you close-ups of each sort of product or as many products as I can so you can sort of see it because I do want to make this slightly in-depth for this 
collection of lip products what I've done is I have put all my lipsticks in this section over here and what I've used yet again are um, Ferrero Rocher kind of boxes and lids I just love the way that it looks so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from this section and then kind of go to the back and then move on to this section and then go to the back so first of all I have this sort of little tray of lip products as I like to say so from here I have moonshine coffee shimmer stick. I have an NYC lipstick in 316 a NYX lipstick Rimmel London Kate Moss lipstick again which is actually this one here is one of my favourites, it's such a nice deep red and this is in 107. Another one of my favourite lipstick which is a Rimmel London one in 077 and then yet again another Rimmel London one in 164 and this is called Tantrum. Now going on to this section, here I have all my YSL lipsticks. So these are the Rouge Relipte ones, the golden ones are all Rouge Relipte ones. These were actually what I became obsessed with in the beginning when I started started to purchase my first sort of high-end cut pieces so I do have two two four kind of five of them the silver one is called a sheer candy and these are all rouge relipte so what I have here is I have number eight eighteen seventeen and four in the rouge relipte in order and then I have number nine in the sheer candy one over here one of my favorite colors is actually this one over here so I will twist it up for you and I just think it's such a pretty sort of everyday kind of pinky nudie colour and it's buildable which is my favourite part of it. Then I have a Sephora lipstick over here which I purchased when I was in um, Monaco I think it was. Back here I have my bourgeois lipsticks, my Sensi which is from in Saudi Arabia. You might notice something, I like to purchase makeup that are from different countries, I don't know why. If I go to a different country I usually like to buy a kind of a brand that doesn't exist in the UK. And then these are two MUA ones which were like a pound and they are quite good for a pound. And then this is actually one of my favourite lipsticks of all time and it is the It Style Lipstick. Then over here I have all my MAC lipsticks which I'm not going to show you kind of every single colour and talk in depth about it because I made a MAC lipstick collection. So if you would like to see a MAC lipstick collection then comment that down below and I'll be happy to do it. And then right in the back over there... I have my sort of this was actually bought for you guys this sort of owl if I can take this out so in this compartment which was right at the back over there I have my S um, my Essie I have my EOS lip balm baby lips and I do have another baby I have another one over there sitting there if you can see in the corner it's kind of blurred out then I have my Burt's Bee lip balm and then I have this little owl this little guy which was actually purchased for you guys then I sort of have a random sort of quad of of lipsticks over here just kind of sitting over there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more then over here moving on to this side I have two sleek lip quads I have one which is a sort of pinky slash purpley shaded one and one which is a red sort of shade one and um, I think one's in T's 856 and another one is in Showgirl 857 so that kind of belongs back here then in this sort of sort of jarry type thing which had kind of like a cheesecake inside it but I kept the jars because I thought they were quite cute I have my four Clarins makeup products I did a Clarins kind of first time buy and these came in a little sort of travel size kit they are all so gorgeous and I recommend every single one of these to you. So this lipstick is one of my all time favourite lipsticks and I talk about it in my first time by Clarins video which I will link below if you want to have a look at it. I have a sleek lipstick here and then I have two NYX NYX? I have two NYX butter lip balms and I really like this one because it's a little darker and it gives a little bit more colour and then I have my Carmix lip balm which is one of my favourite lip balms although I have to admit Vaseline is my go to lip balm. I feel like nothing helps me like Vastine does. Next, if I'm moving into this sort of compartment, I have another one like I had in my sort of eye drawer. If you look over here, I had one in my eye drawer and I purchased, well I didn't purchase these, I got them from somewhere and then I just kept them so I had another one and here I sort of have um, my lip pencils and I'm not going to really read them out but they're just some random ones and then I have another sort of giveaway present for you guys, this is actually for another video idea that me and my friend Devika will hopefully be doing and then I have a few sort of lip um, crayons kind of items there, I have a number 7 
I think that's called. I have a bourgeois one and a colour boost. Now going on to this box over here, I have an array of different items. I have this lip gloss from Maybelline, which is actually gorgeous lip gloss this one is. And it's actually one of my new favourites. I have a baby lips. Um, I have a, what's this called? This is a wet and wild. I have a NYX one, which is also another one of my favourites. I have as many lip glosses or lip balms because I don't really use that much. But uh, so that's just what I have. These are, so this is my whole entire lip collections. There may be a few items that aren't in here because they might be in different bags. But apart from a few, you know, items here and there, everything that is to do with my lips is pretty much in this drawer. I try and keep my drawers quite separate so I can look in each drawer and just have it like that. I know that this will be expanding soon, um, which is the same as every single item in my, or every single kind of drawer that I have because I just know that I'll be expanding my makeup and I know that pretty much next time, which is probably next year when I do another collection, it will have changed a lot. So yeah, that was my lip drawer. So guys, my next drawer is my blush drawer and I'm already opening it up for you guys. This is my sort of blush and um, contour slash bronzer slash highlighting drawer because I don't have as many products um, of, you know, like blushes and contour products and highlighters as I do other products. Here I have... Oh, sorry, that's my phone, guys. But here I have some hand sanitizers from Bath & Body Works that my cousin got me because I really wanted to try them out and I thought that they were so cute. Sorry, guys, I'm clearly so popular that my phone's just going off and off and off. So here I keep some hand sanitizers which aren't really that amazing. I don't actually use them, but I just find them adorable. <laughs> and then I have some blushes over here. These are actually all the blushes I own so far. I don't tend to go for blushes because I don't actually wear blush as much, but I've started to more recently. I just think that there's just certain colours that I love, so um, and a lot of colours overlap each other. Like There's so many pinks that are kind of similar, so... You can only have so many blushes in my in my own opinion, but that's just because I don't love them as much. To start off with, I will be showing you my blush collection, if this one stays up. Um, and I will zoom into it a little bit more. So first of all, I have my Sleek Makeup Blush Kit. Then I have, in this sort of compartment, my Bourjois Blush, which I have to say guys, I don't really like because it's way too pigmented, but I just haven't had the heart to throw it away. Then I have two NYX blushes. I love this blush over here. It's a really nice sort of light pink colour, which is why I like it so much. This one is called Red, sorry, and the other one is called Pinky Rose. Now, in this sort of section over here, I have my three MAC blushes. I have one in Pink Swoon, which I've actually used today, and I love this one. This is one of my all-time favourites, and if you do it very lightly, um, it looks, it just gives you such a nice flush of colour. Then I have Melba, which is, to be honest with you, probably my first all-time favourite natural sort of coloured blush. I think it is absolutely gorgeous and I bought it all because of Essence. She just completely made me buy it because it was such a nice natural colour. I think I included this in a video as well. And then I have this one, which I've forgotten the name of. It's called Dolly Mix, which is another beautiful colour. It's kind of got a little, little bit more sparkle in it and it's slightly more reddish, I would say. Next, moving into this section. I have three more of my blushes. This used to be my favourite for the longer time and this is the Scentsy one. I don't know why but I like blushes that aren't too harsh and aren't too sort of bright and you know too pink or too red because it's nice when it's buildable so this was such a great blush colour. This is actually one of the first ever blushes I bought. I don't really like it to be honest with you but I've just kept it in here because I don't have the heart to throw it away. Then finally I have my Match Perfection one which actually is the perfect dupe for the MAC. So the MAC is maybe this one over here Melba is maybe around £15 and this was probably around 6 to £8 maybe but don't hold me against that this was I bought this like two years ago now moving on to this side so here I have my contour sort of makeup items I'm going to go from this side over to that side so I will show you the other bit I have kept this in a another Ferrero Rocher container but just the square sort of looking ones one just for now but I may change that so here I have my first ever sort of powder that I bought this was the Bourjois chocolate 
bronzer which smells divine. I just like sort of darker bronzers and sometimes I don't really want the shimmer so that's why I ended up purchasing other ones. So that is a good first bronzer. Then I have my Maybelline Master Sculpt which is also another beautiful sort of colour and it's got a slight bit of a highlighter which uh, isn't the best in my opinion because I like more kind of brightening highlighters but it is really nice highlighter to use as a sort of everyday sort of um, minimal makeup kind of look. Over here I have my Soleil de Tan Chanel, what's it called? Contour. <laughs> I keep forgetting the name so I will open this up for you and this one basically sort of looks like poo. It looked more like poo when I first bought it but you know I've used it a little bit and now it just looks like used poo. Uh, <laughs> that's a nice way to describe it isn't it? This one to be honest with you isn't my favourite because it's got a slight orange undertone to it and I don't really like that look on me because I'm kind of olivey yellowy tone and I don't like having that orange tone but I think underneath that uh, more brown sort of powder it does maybe look okay I haven't used it as much. Then my absolute favourite this is pro this should probably be called my holy grail because I've used the Benefit Hula Bronzer way more and it's hip hand. So this one is my holy grail item. It is the Benefit Hula Bronzer and it's got the little brush which I use all the time. This one clearly is my favourite and yeah it will probably be gone soon. I like having that harsh line of contour so this personally is my favourite ever contour to exist and I might have to buy a new one when it runs out. Kind of sitting over there I've got the little brush which goes with the master sculpt draw. Oh, I completely forgot to mention my highlight. My highlight over here is Mac Soft and Gentle. That's pretty much the only highlight I own so far. I really do want Becca Opal and um, yeah, so I might be getting that soon but for now I've been using one and I feel like there's certain products that you can own a few of because otherwise you don't really end up using it a lot. So yeah, yet again for highlight I only own one so far but I know it definitely will be expanding. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more makeup based videos, like where I kind of go in depth, like I said in the beginning, let me know in the comments below. I hope you're all having a very lovely day. I hope you all stay beautiful and I shall see you in the next video. Bye guys. Love you. Guys, I just want to make one point and say I know that my eyes seem a bit swollen over here. That's because I hardly got any sleep last night. I, I think I fell asleep at like five or six and woke up at like seven or eight. So I didn't get much sleep. But because I love you guys so much, I had to just film. So I apologise if I look like a hot mess, but that is what I am. I am a hot mess and I cannot do anything about that. So please forgive me if my eyes look really bad. I have put concealer on it, but clearly they are really like puffy and swollen underneath and everywhere. So I kind of can't help that. So I'm sorry. I'm, I apologise for that, guys.